Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Crochet Happy I Am. I'm Nicole, and on today's video, we are going to do resin. But first, I first want to say that to everybody, uh, I'm sorry I didn't upload last weekend. And the reasoning why is I decided it was time to do some remodeling, so hence the change of angle. I went out and I bought these cubicles and the different baskets. Um, I have so much craft supplies that it was stacked on the floor, under my table, just everywhere. So I had to come up with a better solution. So I went ahead and I had my rocking chair sitting here and I moved that out and changed to this new bookshelf box, uh, cubby and it's working out great I love it I found the floor it feels bigger in my space um, and it all for not that much Ikea and offer up and five below between those three places I was able to make this happen so I didn't spend too much and I'm very proud of the way it turned out and so I'm going to give a little shout out to a friend of mine's granddaughter Lexi thank you very much for coming over and working your little tail off to help me get that organized set up purchased uh, she went to Ikea with me she went to five below she did the offer up run she was just on point worked her tail off and so Lexi like I said thank you very much for your help so let's go ahead and get started on today's fun project um, I did a little online shopping and I discovered on Amazon this little thing it's supposed to mix your resin with no bubbles I figured I'd give it a try on my own didn't have very many good stars I believe it was like three stars but that's other people's opinions I want to find out what my opinion is gonna be uh, so let's see I haven't opened it yet I don't know what it looks like it's pink we all know I don't like pink I have read <laughs> If I really like this thing and I really want to cover it, I'll cover it with red tape. Who knows? Anyways. Okay. So it looks like, I would assume that's AA batteries. That's what that looks like to me. Uh, I know I do have a couple double oh it doesn't even specify a battery size it just says battery but it looks like double-a battery size to me so I'll get two double-a batteries pop them in there and uh, we'll see how well this little doohickey does that's what it looks like but the whole thing is, is as you're mixing, it's mixing the resin, it's supposed to decrease the amount of bubbles to the point where there's no bubbles. So we'll see what happens. The other thing that I got was a couple of these molds and they are picture frames. Sorry, plastic. Okay, so this pick, this one, so it's very thin, not much to it, but you pour up this square part and then you pour up down here and what happens is this piece will stand up as if like this part right here is the base. It'll sit right like that and then that's your picture. 
The other one is a heart and it's thicker. So it's gonna be this whole thing's gonna fill along with down here, this bumpy part. I don't know if you can see that there's, yeah, you can kind of see that the, it goes inward. Cause then the heart, when you flip it over this way, the bottom of the heart sits right here in the center point. And so it's like a little stand. So I decided we're gonna pour up this photo. This is me and boyfriend at Disneyland. It was our very first Valentine's together uh, way back in 2013. So I figured I'll um, trim the edges of this photo down, get it laminated, and we're going to put it into one of these molds. <laughs> Whichever one it'll fit in. Uh, but we are going to pour up both. So I've got my alcohol inks. We'll go ahead and put some colors into it. Make it look really pretty. Uh, these also were from Amazon. And I have all of my glitter. So we'll put a bunch of glitter in there. Of course, we have to put glitter and resin. And um, the resin I'll be using, again, I've bought from Amazon. It's one in one. And that's that I can put I'll put uh, the link down below uh, other than that hope you guys like the new organization and uh, let's uh, go ahead and we'll change up the camera angle and get everything set up figure out what color glitters and all that fun stuff which size the um, photo frames that that picture is going to fit into and go from there. So let's start mixing some resin. Okay, so the first step that we need to do is measure out and align how we want it to be sitting in the uh, mold. So thankfully this mold is pretty clear so you can see the image. So I've already lined it up and I like where it's at. So I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to draw a line around the mold onto the actual photo and that's where I'm going to cut. Okay, so I've got my line. Good thing is, is this silicone, it sticks to the photo. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about it moving on me as I was uh, doing my outline. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and lift the mold up off of the photo. Got my, my cut line. And I'm gonna turn it so it's not upside down to me. But now I'm just gonna kinda eyeball like so okay so now I've got my heart it's on there but I am NOT going to cut exactly on this black line I'm gonna cut inside this black line so let's go ahead and do that So this leftover piece, we're just going to throw it away. There's our image. We can see if it's going to fit. So it's still a little big, which is good because you don't want to cut too much off and be wrong. So knowing the size of the mold, that's how much more around the photo we're going to want to remove. Okay, 
So it's still a little bit bigger than the mold itself. So I'm gonna have to cut just a little bit more off. Okay, let's see how this is gonna fit. There we go. Okay. I think this is going to turn out so cute. What do you guys think? I can't wait. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my uh, desk set up with my silicone mat and I'm gonna get my cups and I'm gonna get my gloves and I'm gonna turn on my air con my ceiling fan and get the mask and all that stuff and let's let's make a really cute heart. Yay, I'm excited. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we're back. We're all set up. I went ahead and picked another picture for the square frame. And so I've got it trimmed and cut, ready to go. I got batteries put into this little mixer thing. I am a little nervous because I tried to make sure the batteries were working and it only gives one speed. And I'm gonna put it by my microphone so that way you can hear it's it's like super fast I don't know if you can see so I'm a little scared I'm hoping it doesn't go flying overflow in my cup we will find out okay so let's Go ahead and mix this up. Okay, moment of truth. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Um, I'm not impressed with this thing. There's still bubbles. And as you probably saw, at, towards the end of the five minutes, I was taking it out and this metal part fell off of this, off the handle. It's also really hot to touch, so after a while it heats up which I don't like that either um, and it says it's supposed to have no bubbles but I don't know if you can see that but there's bubbles in there uh, I mean it looks pretty well mixed I'm happy about that so I would literally say for this little trinket two two and a half stars on Amazon so yeah okay well let's go ahead I'm gonna pour up the square one first because there's not a whole lot of resin in here 
So we'll do that one first. Uh, this will probably be the base. And uh, we've got some big chunky red glitter. And I've got red alcohol ink and silver. So we'll go ahead and get that going. So let's pour this up. So we are done. The inks, the glitter, everything is in. So now it's just letting these two set. We'll come back this time tomorrow and we'll uh, pop them out of the molds. And then we will take the pictures and we're going to put them on there and then uh, figure out how I'm gonna permanently play them place them on here and go from there so we'll see what I do tomorrow hey guys so we're back and I actually gave this um, about 48 hours to fully set I uh, wanted the resin and the, the alcohol ink to really move and do its thing and I just, I, I checked it at about 20 hours and the top part for the square was still a little bendy. So I decided I'm just gonna let it sit, give it some time. And so I gave it an extra day and now it's nice and solid. So we're going to pop these out and move on to the next step. So we have the red one and we have the blue one. So now I just got to decide which one to do. And looking at them, I want to do them all. So let's go ahead and um, we'll start with the red because it's square and it's simple. So the glitter, if you can see. The, the glitter's on both sides. You can even see it on the back. There's a lot of glitter that stayed on the surface, which is cool. So let's just pop it out. Oh, I'm so excited. 
excited. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. Oh, it's still a little bendy. That's not what I wanted, but... Okay, so there's one side. And there's the other side. I just, I love how these spots happen. The white alcohol ink goes down and just makes these, oh, it just looks so cool. I love it. And the glitter, oh. And I love how some of it's still clear, the corners. It's so cool. Okay, so let's pop out the base part and see how well that's going to work. It's kind of thick, which obviously you want that so it doesn't fall. Okay. Let's see. Okay, if that does not scream, I love glitter, um, that's just amazing. Look at all that glitter in there. just looks so cool. Sorry, I'm totally looking at it in the camera along with you guys, so and there's the bottom. This is so neat. I love how just the glitter is so fun. Okay, so so it sets just like that. That's so cool. So we'll put the picture on this, and once that's, once it's done, it'll slide right there. And we'll just drop right into that little pocket. And this little piece right there. It just sits right in there, just like so. It's almost like its own piece of art. You don't even need to put the photo, but we're still gonna put the photo. So I'm going to have to cut the picture down some more because it's actually the same size as our piece and I want some of the piece to show around it so we're going to have to lose some more of the photo. So we'll get to that. But now let's go ahead and pop out the blue, the heart. So we'll do the base first. That is so cool. Look at that. That looks so cool. I like this side. I love that little, the ink right there, how it made that. Oh. That just looks so cool, and the silver glitter makes it look kind of like, like snow. Okay, let's do the heart. I'm so excited. Oh, you don't even know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. If I can get it out, there we go. Okay, so that was the back part. Can you believe how beautiful that looks? Look at the sides. I'm in love. I'm in love. That is so pretty. It's so like 3D looking inside. That's so neat. Look how it just looks 3D in there. I hope I hope you guys can see this as well as I do. But it totally looks 3D. So, take your little base and you set the heart right on there, like so. That is so cool, but we'll show it this way, because that's it. It goes just like that. Oh, 
I should toot my own horn on this one because that is just amazing. So I have to decide what side I want to put the picture on because I mean I don't want to lose that and I will. I guess it could be a double-sided photo frame. Put the picture on one side, but still have that neat look on the other. Okay, so now that we've popped everything out, now it's time to experiment to see how well this is gonna work. Uh, I watched another video don't remember the person's name I'm really sorry the tacky glue and so I did the pool balls but that was with paper so I'm kind of wondering how it's gonna work with photo or do I safely just laminate because we want to put one more layer of resin on top oh what to do so let's go ahead and um, figure it out. I don't know. I don't know if I want to try the tacky glue or laminate or I just, I don't know. What to I don't know. Okay, so I decided what I want to do. We're not going to laminate. And I'm not going to recoat another layer of resin. I'm actually going to leave the picture on top as is, just paper. We're going to use the tacky glue to glue it down both pieces. So I'm just going to paint the back of the picture and then set it on here, let it dry, and we'll be finished. So let's paint some tacky glue Okay, so I've got my tacky glue in a little dish. I've got my paintbrush. And so let's paint some glue. Okay, so we're all done, and I am just totally in love with the final product. Uh, I think they came out amazing. So, here is the red. Oop, I knocked it off balance a little bit. So, yeah. Let's take some. So, all I did was I just did the tacky glue. Um, of the photo down so it'll just be floating and give that floating look so you see some of the red around it but if you turn it around you get this really cool image and if you want you can have that just as a piece of decor I guess if you wanted a color object or something there's so many different ways you could easily do this 
uh, you can easily put a thin layer of resin down, laminate a photo, and then put another layer of resin. That way it's permanently inside the piece. Uh, this one I just wanted to see how it would look if I just glued it down to the front. So that's what I did. And I like it. But, so let's see. And then the blue one, the heart. Same thing. I don't want to drop it. So again, I just glued the picture on. And I love the back of this. So I could easily, you know, when I feel like it, have the heart showing or you know, the picture showing. Either way, whatever. But all the way around, I'm extremely excited and happy for the final result. And I will take um, pictures of it sitting as is and show it I guess so thank you for watching please subscribe that little red subscribe button right there click on it uh, that helps me greatly and I appreciate everybody who is subscribed so please share my videos with your friends and uh, encourage them to subscribe uh, don't forget to click on the like button that way I know that you liked these photo frames and if you have any questions or comments comments are down below and um, yeah thank you very much and I will see you guys on my next video bye